One of the greatest scientific missions of modern times has taken a giant leap forward today with the launch at lunchtime of the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched with anticipation and hope, has continually exceeded expectations since its first light. But one recent discovery has sent an electric jolt through the scientific community and captivated the world in a way that few cosmic revelations ever have. What the telescope found wasn't merely astonishing, it was terrifying, an observation that challenges the very foundations of what we believe about the structure, origin, and future of the universe. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began with a series of deep field observations that aimed to peer farther back in time than any telescope had done before. Webb's mission, after all, includes unlocking the secrets of the early universe by capturing infrared light emitted billions of years ago. Light so old and red shifted that only Webb's cutting edge instruments could detect it. As scientists combed through this ancient light, they expected to see the usual tapestry of young galaxies forming in the chaotic crucible of the early cosmos. Instead, they found something utterly inexplicable in a region of space believed to be less than 300 million years after the Big Bang, a time when the first stars and galaxies were only beginning to form, Webb revealed a massive, mature structure, a galaxy cluster so large, so organized, and so evolved that its very existence defied everything astrophysicists thought they knew. This was no feeble collection of protostars. It was a well-formed cosmic titan with massive spirals, structured arms, and clear evidence of supermassive black hole activity at its core. According to the standard model of cosmology, such a structure shouldn't exist for another billion years at least. Yet, there it was, defying time, logic, and physics. The horrifying part wasn't merely its presence, it was the implications. This ancient galaxy cluster was not alone. Webb detected several similar objects, some even more distant, appearing fully formed in the cosmic dawn. The sheer number and maturity of these galaxies upended the prevailing model of the universe's timeline. If these galaxies had already reached this level of complexity so early in the universe's life, then the rate of galactic evolution must be staggeringly faster than previously thought. That alone would force a radical revision of cosmological theories. But the telescope's revelations didn't stop there. Within the core of one of these early galaxy clusters, researchers identified a signal that was even more perplexing, a distinctive, regular pulse of infrared radiation emanating from deep within a dense region of matter. This was not a typical quasar-like outburst, nor a variable star's flicker. The pulses were unnervingly rhythmic, suggesting a mechanism at work that had no clear explanation. Theories ranged from exotic astrophysical processes to highly speculative constructs such as artificial signals, though the latter were swiftly dismissed in official circles. Even so, whispers of something engineered began circulating in private research groups, prompting a second, even more detailed web observation of the region. That follow-up revealed something even more shocking. The source of the pulsing radiation was located in a perfect void, an area of space so eerily symmetrical and empty that it defied natural formation theories. It wasn't merely an absence of stars or dust. It was a vacuum that seemed sculpted, geometrically precise in its borders, spanning hundreds of light years, yet centered perfectly on the radiating object. No known force of gravity, pressure, or cosmic expansion could account for such a region existing naturally. It looked, to all intents and purposes, like a deliberately cleared space, an engineered cavity in the early universe. The implications were staggering and unsettling. If such voids could exist in the earliest epochs of the cosmos, carved with precision and centered on radiant anomalies, then something, some force or process was active at a cosmic level long before the emergence of intelligent life as we understand it. And the scale of that activity suggested not just technology, but purpose. Yet it remained entirely unclear what that purpose might have been. The more researchers studied the region, the more disturbing details emerged. Embedded within the light surrounding the void were spectral anomalies, subtle distortions in the wavelengths, patterns that should not be present in naturally emitted radiation. These weren't random fluctuations. They repeated with astonishing consistency, creating shapes and sequences that mirrored mathematical constants and geometrical frameworks, structures found in the physics of our own universe. These patterns hinted at an understanding of universal laws so fundamental that they appeared encoded into the fabric of the emitted light itself. Some physicists posited that what Webb was observing might be a relic of a pre-Big Bang structure, 
some remnant echo of a previous cosmic cycle bleeding through into the present era. Others considered the possibility that the void represented not an absence, but a containment, a prison of sorts, holding something behind walls we could barely perceive. The idea of containment was particularly disturbing, especially given the steady pulsing signal at its center, which had begun to change subtly over time. That change came in the form of frequency modulation. What was initially a simple rhythmic pulse began to evolve, shifting wavelengths in a pattern that mapped across the electromagnetic spectrum with alarming regularity. The signal became more complex, not less. It was as though it was adapting, or perhaps responding. While still within the bounds of natural possibility, the odds of such a progression occurring by chance were statistically minuscule. Theories about self-organizing cosmic processes emerged, but they too faltered under scrutiny. There was no known process that could lead to such a combination of regularity, modulation, and spatial symmetry in such a young cosmic environment. At the heart of this terrifying discovery was a simple, sobering question. If these signals and structures are not natural, then who or what created them? The mere suggestion challenged every foundational assumption in astronomy and physics. Human understanding of the universe, once thought to be on relatively stable ground, now seemed adrift on alien waters. Even more chilling was the realization that these structures had existed for over 13 billion years. Whatever created them, if they were created, was ancient beyond imagination. Astronomers began cross-referencing data from other observatories, searching for similar voids or radiative anomalies in the local universe. A handful of potential candidates emerged, structures that had previously been dismissed as oddities, now re-examined under a new, more ominous lens. Some of these were not located at the edge of the observable universe, but surprisingly close in galactic terms. This raised new concerns. If these voids were spread throughout space-time, then they might represent a network of some kind. Whether that network served a constructive or destructive purpose was unknown. The ambiguity only added to the growing unease. The implications for physics were equally profound. If such phenomena existed before or shortly after the Big Bang, then our understanding of time, entropy, and causality could be incomplete or even fundamentally flawed. It hinted at a multiversal model where information, structures, or entities might traverse different epochs of space-time. It also implied that intelligent influence on the universe's architecture might not be a late emergent property, but an integral part of the universe's inception. Cosmologists found themselves wrestling with new questions. Were these ancient anomalies a part of a cosmic life cycle? Signatures of civilizations that arose and fell long before Earth formed? Could they be tools, messages, or warnings? Was the universe seeded with these constructs deliberately, perhaps by an unknown intelligence harnessing forces beyond current human comprehension? And if so, to what end? The emotional impact of Webb's horrifying discovery was no less significant than its scientific one. For centuries, humanity looked to the stars with awe, wonder, and a sense of comforting isolation, believing that intelligent life, if it existed at all, was distant, both in time and space. Webb shattered that illusion with cold, beautiful precision. The universe, once imagined as a vast and empty canvas, suddenly revealed hints of old scars, mysterious constructions, and impossible messages etched in starlight. Philosophers, theologians, and scientists alike were thrust into unfamiliar terrain. The boundaries between physics and metaphysics blurred. The idea of an uncaring, indifferent universe gave way to the possibility of a watched cosmos, a manipulated reality, or worse, a decaying simulation with artifacts left behind by forgotten architects. The terror did not come from what was known, but from the vast, yawning chasm of the unknown now laid bare. And still, Webb continues to peer deeper. With each new observation, it brings more fragments of this cosmic puzzle to light, each one more confounding than the last. The horrifying discovery wasn't a single moment or object, but a revelation that the universe is far stranger, older, and perhaps more haunted than anyone ever imagined. What was once theoretical is now observational. What was once speculative is now real, and what lies beyond remains, for now, shrouded in a void that watches us back. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on what the James Webb truly discovered out there? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.